InMed is a biopharmaceutical company and we have two segments to our business. First of all, we have a biosynthesis program which we're utilizing to manufacture rare cannabinoids. We then take those cannabinoids and utilize them for drug development purposes in diseases with high InMed medical needs. One of the core strengths of InMed Pharmaceuticals is the team that we've assembled to help develop these products and move them forward towards commercialization. At every level and at every position in the, in the company, we have pharmaceutical executives with 20 to 30 years experience, people who've been there, who've done that, and understand very well all the components of putting it together a pharmaceutical product, uh, formulating it, bringing it through the clinical trials all the way to registration. Uh, I think it's unique for this space uh, to have a team as experienced as ours. That also uh, applies to the board of directors. We have several individuals who have extensive pharmaceutical and biotech experience uh, who've shepherded companies along the way uh, and uh, have helped build them into very significant organizations. So I couldn't be more proud of the team that we've been able to assemble at InMed. Currently, if you want to access cannabinoids, you have to extract them from the plant. And that's easy to do with THC and CBD. However, when you go below those two into the other 100 cannabinoids, they're very rare, they're in very small amounts, and it's difficult to extract those for medical purposes. The purpose of the biosynthesis program is to enable us to manufacture these cannabinoids so that they are identical to what the plant makes, but we can also do it at a relatively low cost, and we can explore all the different ones and how they might impact diseases. Biosynthesis is a three-stage process. First of all, you have to understand the genetic coding necessary to get the bacteria to manufacture the cannabinoids. We finalized that process and we're now moving on to the next few phases. The next phase is fermentation and what we're doing there is we're going to ever increasing sizes of fermentation tanks uh, to increase the yield and the volume of the cannabinoids that we can make. The final process is then to take the fermentation broth and to separate the drug from all the other components that were used to manufacture them. That's the downstream purification. Currently, we're working with a number of manufacturers, pharmaceutical manufacturers, uh, to identify what those processes are, to make those to GMP standards, uh, and to scale up the entire process to commercial batch size. When InMed started the biosynthesis research, we were really agnostic as to whether we were gonna use bacteria or yeast for this process. What we found through our early research is that bacteria had specific advantages. Uh, we felt that it's a more robust system that will be able to make a wider range of cannabinoids using it. And so we started to focus on bacteria. Now that we're moving into commercial scale up, what we're finding is that E. coli is a much better system from a commercial standpoint uh, and that, than yeast, simply because it's much less expensive. The amount of time it takes to manufacture using the system uh, is much quicker and that will lead to overall cost savings on the back end of this entire process. InMed has had preliminary discussions with a number of people who've expressed an interest in our biosynthesis process. However, from a commercial standpoint, from a business standpoint, I think it's just too early for us to fully validate what the value is that we can bring to this field. So we've pushed those discussions off. I think when the time is right, probably sometime in 2020, uh, we'll be in a position to better assess what the underlying value of this asset is. Epidermolysis bullosa is a very devastating disease. Uh, it is uh, characterized by fragility of the skin uh, at many different layers, at the top layer and a little bit deeper as well. Um, there's no cures for this disease. We estimate that there's anywhere from 15 to 25,000 patients in the world. Um, because it's so rare, it's difficult to get a firm number on that. Uh, what we're trying to do is develop a product that can do two sets of things. The first is to improve the symptomology, the things that the patient has to deal with from a day-to-day -day basis. This includes potentially accelerating the wound healing process, reducing inflammation, reducing pain, and importantly, reducing itch. So we think that IN-M755 uh, has the ability to potentially address some of these, uh, these symptoms. On the other hand, you want to see some degree of disease reversal for these patients to help them longer term. Uh, and what we're targeting to do is use 755 to upregulate certain keratins in the skin, which will help increase the integrity and the strength of the skin over time. Uh, so what we'd hope to see is maybe some uh, mitigation of the disease. It won't be a cure, 
uh, it won't reverse the disease, but maybe it'll lead to a higher degree of skin integrity, making the skin more difficult to uh, tear or bruise or blister over time. Right now, we're poised to bring INM755 into human clinical trials in the second half of 2019. The initial trial will be in healthy volunteers, where we're simply testing to see if there's any toxicity of this product uh, in, in humans. We'll start with adults, and over time, we'll work towards the pediatric population. Once we have the readout of that information, we'll be able to uh, file for the phase two studies, which will include the actual EB patients themselves. Uh, and then depending on how quickly we can enroll patients into that trial, we'll be in a better position to provide guidance on the phase three trial uh, when that one's completed. I'd also like to mention our program in glaucoma, the INM085 program. What we're doing there is utilizing a specific cannabinoid to reduce the intraocular pressure in the eye, which over time uh, leads to neural protection and a decrease uh, in blindness. Uh, we're very excited about that program. We are formulating that in a once-a-day eye drop, uh, but we're finding out some very interesting things about the role of cannabinoids in treating that disease.